Hello. Ow. Well, I just got feeling. <laughs> and I think I have my phone the other way around. So I'm used to looking kind of there. But now the camera is there. And what has happened here? Oh my god, I have glitter all over my face. What have I done? How? <laughs> Weird. Weird. How? What did I swatch? Weird. Wait, let's take it away. God. Like that. Yeah, okay. Today I'm trying out products from a brand where I'm kinda like that. <laughs> because uh, the first time I ordered, it was fine. The next time I ordered, I've talked about this before, it took two and a half months to get to me. And that was because I reached out several. Oh, this is going to be so hard to look. I think I have to turn the phone around. Can't I do that easier? Or will this be a good practice? Let's do like this. Am I looking in the camera now? I had to turn it around. Now I've turned the camera. Yeah, and let's move this back. Yeah, so today I wanted to use this, like that, this one, this is from Bombshell Cosmetica and this is the Milkshake Eyeshadow Palette, Strawberry Milkshake and it's kind of annoying because if you look at it like this, it doesn't, it's first of all bent, I don't know if you can see that, but it doesn't close and here uh, that drives me insane but yeah so if you can see let's see this is all shimmer I will try to use mostly this palette but I just want to you know I want some mattes so I took in another palette from Bombshell Cosmetica I took in the fresh baked which looks like a cookie and looks like that. So you have your typical. Mm, they smell kind of nice. I I will not use the shimmers. I will just use the mattes because I really want to use the shimmers in the strawberry palette. That's my plan at least. So let's put on some primer. And I've not used my MAC Paint Pot in a while, so I thought it would be time to do that. And I'm going to apply it with a brush a bit, because I want to see if it's going bad. And, you know, putting I'm putting the brush into this because I don't want to put my finger in. Oh god, that was such an unnecessary <laughs> explanation. But I have cleaned it and I want to see if it is me putting my finger in it that messes it up. Mess, mess it up. Messes it up. Yeah. Or if it's just old. Like that. And it's the painterly one. And then I have my standard Peggy Sash primer. Like that. And since there are kind of only browns and a brown berry shade, I mattes. Oh my god, I'm not making any sense. Um, yeah, I will be doing some type of crease with that. Let's open this up. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Okay. I'm 
got these does not have names so I'm taking the light brown let's see how this performs there is no kick up at all I have no problem with using shimmers in the crease but I prefer not to so if we can use this first that will be nice is it this that smells yeah this smells like um, a, a you know sherry flavored candy I think you know it's chemically smell chemically smell that's what we would say in Swedish uh, so it doesn't smell very nice god that I've become very sensitive to smells if you saw my latest video or I don't know if it will be my latest video but the one where I use um, the Cleona palette um, I tell you about how I feel about the it cosmetic CC cream can't stand this smell. Oh, there's a mirror in this one. Is it in this? Yeah. So there are mirrors. Yeah, maybe I can use that. Is that annoying? See a cookie? Now I have three mirrors. Well, the mat looks fine. And there is absolutely no kick up in the pan. like that let's see and I'm going to base this look around shimmer so it's going to be mostly that so I'm going to take how does this look going to take that shade sorry if it doesn't show these look almost glittery take this in the middle because I have a lighter and a darker that I want to use Ooh, that was pretty Well, that was pretty. I like that. Let's take some more. And I usually always spray my shimmers, even if they are, you know, good without spraying, because I don't want fallout. That was really pretty. Now I'm going to take the dark, oop, dark purple over here. And I'm taking this in the outer corner. Sorry, I really had to look here. Mm. Oh, just blending it a bit like that, and now I'm taking it on the other side. Is this what you think is a tutorial? applies a little bit not patchy but yeah maybe patchy 
but some shimmers do that if you spray them too much. And that's why you can't use any shimmer in the crease or as a mat or whatever. Because some are harder to use as mats because they are harder to blend out. Like that. It's not the same eye shape. That's interesting. Let's try to do a little pointier over here. Like that. Just going to try something. Let's move down. myself very close like that and then I'm going to take a light shade let's take oh that almost makes me dizzy um, are we going with the color story yeah I'm going to take that shade it looks like a uh, light pink Ooh. it smells like food okay that was really pretty Ooh. I like these shimmers. Usually I would, you know, only use one shimmer um, or two maybe and, and mostly mattes, but I really want to focus on the strawberry milkshake palette. So that's what we're doing. But I put down the matte to make it easier to blend them. Like that. And I want that in the inner corner as well. That was pretty. That was really pretty. And now I want to have a little bit more of the pink we used from the beginning. It looks like it's getting hard pan. Let's see. But it looks like it's picking up. So. God, it smells like food. So bad at describing colors and I'm bad at describing scents and smells. But I recognize it so much. Like that. Now I want to take a green. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to take that green. It's so hard to show you. It smells like hamburgers. Oh, I should have used the burger palette. <laughs> Ooh. And when I apply on my lower lash line, I usually, you know, go under and lift up the lashes so I don't apply it on the lashes because then you will get shadow everywhere. It doesn't really matter since I've not done my base but it's just a habit that I have so if I have done my base I won't mess it up and I'm dragging it up here a bit god I'm so big in this mirror it's ridiculous That. 
and then I'm taking the yellow green just because I want to try some different shades Ooh. and then I'm going to take I think I'm going to try let's do this first I don't have anything on the brush I'm just going to see if I can blend it no I'm going to take that shade in the freshly baked and see I may destroy everything now but I hope not because I want to blend it out a bit because I don't like too harsh lines and I think this color matches really well god it smells like hamburgers I don't know why because it should smell like just meat then but it just smells like hamburgers it smells so good like that. it just gets a little bit blurrier out here and not as sharp and I like God, I'm hungry. I'm sorry I don't talk about things right now. Uh, but like I said uh, the last time I filmed or when I did another video is that I just felt like sitting down and play and I might as well record it. So that's what I'm doing. Going to try to take the lavender shade, and now I think I may get fallout. Just want to take it very lightly over here. It's that shade. God, that worked really good, actually. I'm impressed, and I'm so shimmery. But I like it. It's a bit different from, from 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 what I usually do. But I'm going to leave it at this and then put on my base and eyeliner and everything. And we'll see how it looks. Um, hopefully it will look fine. <laughs> uh, but I will be back shortly. Now I'm back. Do you know how smart I am? I was thinking about oh what should I what should I take on the lips and I was like oh I want something pink and sparkly and I was like oh the Jeffree Star and Joy collab and then I realized it's called Sweet Tooth and I think that goes very well with you know this so that was good of me yeah. and I really like it and I'm really pleased with this look um, I've used two shades from Colourpop on my waterline um, I've used the dark which I have with the white lid dark purple it's called piggy bank and then I've used crybaby I love these so I, have, I don't know if you can see but I have two shades and mm, and I have the CC cream on right now, by the way, because I'm trying to get used to the smell and trying to figure out if I like um, the finish. But I think I like the finish. And I like this lip gloss. It's so pretty. Uh, but yeah, this is... It doesn't look like I've used any mattes because I only used two mattes and 
the one that I used first was that and I put that in the crease but now I have kind of covered it up with the shimmers and then I used that burgundy berry shade whatever just to smoke out or what you want to call it the shimmer a bit so it doesn't get those harsh lines and let's see here and then <laughs> I used a lot of shades from this one I used that yeah that shade in the middle of the lid and then I used that a light shade in the inner corner and a bit on the lid and then I used the dark purple one in the outer V and then I used uh, the light lavender shade a bit on top not no not on top above the light pink and then I used these two on the lower lash line so I used one two three four five six out of oops um, out of ten that I think is pretty good and it's very shimmery, it's very sparkly, but I like it. I don't know if you can see, but it's very pretty, I think. And I would wear this to work without a doubt. Um, and kind of have shimmers in the crease, but I did have a matte before. And I'm really trying not to feel um, nausea. I don't know because the smell of this and the smell of this together is <sighs> overwhelming can't I smell doesn't this smell good no it no that smelled very sweet but yeah never mind but yeah uh, and I have the Amrisi highlighter on and I have uh, those uh, a heart shaped blush from Too Faced uh, which was it? No, nothing. Uh, love hangover. Love hangover. I don't know. And the Kat Von D bronzer. Um, and I'm really pleased. Yeah. So this was this, <laughs> and uh, I hope you like this video and I really enjoy that I have gotten more feeling just to sit down and film now that I have my desk and it's easier for me um, and there is a lot of fun stuff coming up uh, different collabs and so on that I'm very excited about so yeah and I'm also very excited about my vacation which is one week away in one week I'm having vacation for three weeks. Woohoo! Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> but yeah, that was all. Bye.